you radiate expensive, regal, beautiful, powerful, feminine, just divine vibes. And a man ask you, what do you bring to the table? I want to take that damn table and slap him across the head and knock his head off till it rolls out to the parking lot. What do I... Okay, y'all, I don't really, how do I say this? I've not been uploading, and it's not because I don't love y'all. It's because I'm so tired. This video is entitled, What the Feminine Urge to Do Nothing. And I truly believe, as women, we shouldn't be doing anything but being pretty. Like, just think about this. We get our period once a month, and we have to go full speed ahead at work, school, whatever, motherhood, whatever blood gushing into a uh, lining of the stomach lining of your uterus in shambles mental health scrambled um your overall mood disheveled and we're expected to just keep going and i don't like that i truly believe as women we should just be pretty and we should just have men do everything for us because that's what like this beauty, you guys think I was just, oh, let me just preface this by saying like, anytime I'm not on here, I'm, I'm, I'm investing in myself. I'm meditating. Um, yeah, like always, this video is going to be a bit of a rant, but I don't want to do nothing. And like I said, I love y'all, but sometimes I get, I'm, I don't, I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't want to do anything. Like. Jackie, what does Jackie do in a day? I should make a, a day in the life of a kangaroo and show you what Jackie does. Because it's exhausting being us. We're both stay-at-home daughters. She's a stay-at-home daughter in training. I'm a professional stay-at-home daughter. I, I do this for a living. And it's exhausting. Not many people realize how exhausting this job is. It's demanding having to carry my family the carry the family's personality on my back to be the one who spends and racks up the credit cards that's me if not me then who who's gonna be there to bring the family together to do our little game nights if not me then who and i'm the only child too well jackie only human child in this family yeah yeah it's exhausting the, the shopping, the lifestyle, I have to, it, it's too much. And it's not for the weak. You gotta have thick skin, yet delicate skin to do this, to do this job. I don't know what to tell you. But, um, I don't want to do anything. Um, I don't want to do anything. This whole video is just going to be me sighing. No, I'm playing. But it's just like, what? Wh I want to say that, and I'll make a separate video about this, but this is just for women. Our worth is not in our productivity. And that's what I was feeling like with YouTube, with other things. I was feeling like if I'm not constantly producing because there's a demand for my content, if I'm not constantly producing, I don't have any value outside of this. And... I love y'all, but I love me more. I'm so sorry. I, 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 I'm, I'm in a great position as a stay-at-home daughter where I don't have to work to live. I live at home in my beautiful room. Well, I don't live in this room. In my beautiful house, I have my beautiful room. I have my little routine. I drink my little tea, ginger tea in the morning. I go to the gym. I do YouTube Pilates. You know, I'm blessed, but um, to, to be able to be in this position. However, I don't, I mean, I, I really don't think your worth is in your productivity. And that's what, first of all, capitalism. And But for women, that's what patriarchy teaches you. That if you're not constantly producing, you are not of value. And women, and I brought up the whole women in the workplace being 
full cramps, full whatever, being sick, and they're still expected to produce, and they're still expected to yield such a high productivity. Like, they're supposed to be super productive. We as women are supposed to be super productive, despite everything. Men don't have that. Men don't have that expectation. A man just being a man is enough. And you can even take that um, black men in the black communities. Just, just a black man being, oh, he's strong, he's this. But if black women aren't being like bent over this way and that way, trying to fix everybody and this one and that one, well, oh, we're not doing our duty. That's a whole other video. No, let's talk about it. Because especially as black women, we're expected to be super women to everybody, to our men, to women, to other races, to other groups, to other causes, and we neglect ourselves, and then our mental health ends up in the freaking toilet because we wanted to care about every single body except ourselves. Not this black woman. Not this black woman. I love y'all, but not too freaking much. I, I'm literally in this role because I was gonna take a bath. You should know I was gonna take a luxurious melon. Dr. Teal's the melatonin so whatever this this hold on that you see this line of their like I have their whole line the sleep spray the soap whatever that bath and I was gonna have a chill time and I am but you should know that I interrupted what I was doing to make this video for y'all so you're welcome and another thing along that line of you know producing is I realized something and it's like, oh, you're just realizing that, Deanna? I'm, I've been doing it. But the thing is, I know hair content does really well and it's been a little, I don't say annoying, but it feels like, oh crap, now I only have to make hair content when I, I, I never intended to just be a hair YouTuber. Like I intended to just be a myself through YouTube and I don't want to get pigeonholed to a, to a niche. And I noticed the, like, the algorithm is very mean because they want me, the robot wants me to, and I don't want to conform to the algorithm. I believe that my other content will be pushed as long as I'm consistent, which I haven't been because I'm so tired. When I say tired, I mean bone tired. I mean every part of me just wants to sleep. Y'all look at my bed. Hold on. See this bed? That's my bed. You see how fluffy it is? And this is my big pillow. I, like I said, I love y'all, but I like sleep. And as women, we shouldn't be doing anything. If I, we, I, I don't know what this feminist agenda. No, stop. It's not even a feminist agenda. It's more of a patriarchal, misogynistic agenda to get women to constantly produce. Because all feminism, especially white feminism, Sorry, y'all. No, all it does is play into men's hands. Like, we're still on full, super duper, super duper cramps, period, crying on the inside, yet we still have to produce all this work to try and prove ourselves to a man to say that yeah, we can be as productive as Todd in, in the other department. Meanwhile, Todd don't do nothing but sit and go on Twitter all day and barely get the work done and he's get paid more than you. What do I look like proving myself to a man? Proving that I'm equal to a man? I'm not equal to a man. Let's just get something clear. No woman is equal to a man because we're better than them. We're not equal to men. Those idiots. You let me let me just talk my talk for a second. There are way more beautiful women than men. There are way more attractive women than men. And you can blame patriarchy in a way because we're forced to confine to this beauty standard to be accepted as whole and beautiful and attractive. Meanwhile, a man could look like the, a creature coming out the dregs, the deepest, the goons of the ocean. And women be like, you know, he kind of cute, girl. When you, when you do like this, he kind of cute. Like... So what do I look like proving myself to a man? Like, what do I look like? Or not even that. What do I look like tr 
trying to convince myself that I'm equal to a man and I'm attracted to a man who ain't attractive. Y'all have done lost your mind. You lost it. As a woman, as women, we are far superior. I don't know what women supremacy is, well, what the word for it is, but if you know it, drop it in the comments. Because... I'm not saying we don't need men. I ain't said that. Like, technically, we don't need men, but I don't want to claim that kind of energy because hyper-independence is also a tool of patriarchy. Another topic for another day. But I don't prove myself as equal to a man. I'm better than you. I'm prettier than you. I'm probably smarter than you. I, I have boobs, a booty, and a vagina. What do you have but one kielbasa? <laughs> you thought we was equal? You you thought we was equal? We're not equal, pal. I'm better than you. <laughs> I'm an upgrade. It says, the, even the Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Not she who finds a husband finds a good thing. I am the good thing. I am the thing that's going to add favor to your life. You know, if a man don't honor his wife, heaven don't hear his prayers. God is, I don't know if, God literally doesn't hear his prayers, but I imagine God is like reading a book or something. He's like to the angels, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Oh, I thought a man who do didn't honor his wife said something. I thought a man who do is not taking care of his wife's emotional, uh, financial, mental health needs said something, asked for something. He needs to go tend to his wife. That's what he needs to do. I don't know how I got here, but yeah, I'm here now. So, I truly believe women shouldn't do nothing if they don't want to. I think more women should take up an occupation as to just be, just to be. Like, what do you do for a living? Yes. No, but what do you do for a living? Hmm? So, what do you do for a living? Exactly. No, I was asking you, yup. What do you do for a living? I just told you. I'm me. So, are you, are you like an accountant? No. So what do you do? Yes. The answer is yes. What do I do for a living? I want to shop. I want to go to the spa. I want to do nothing. I mean, technically that's something. But you guys know what I mean. Like, my days consist now of rummaging through my camera, trying to find content that I made or planning content, um, crocheting, reading, stretching, Bible study, taking Empress baths, investing in my skincare routine, meditating, hanging out with Jackie. Probably some other stuff. Overspending. Let's go for 10. Uh, um, somewhat maladaptive daydreaming. That's it. I don't want to do nothing else. Um, I will try and be more consistent with um, content. I'm going to see if I can tell you guys something. I'm a video I'm coming out with. Oh, I have, I have a couple. Nah, I'll let it be a surprise. Um, yeah, I'll let it be a surprise. But, um, I mean, you, you'll see it soon. But, um, just, uh, I don't know. I have nothing to ask of you guys. But, like, leave a comment if you can relate to just not wanting to do anything and feeling, like, pressure to do something. And if you don't do something, you feel worthless. Because I'm trying to rewire my brain to say that just because you're just sitting still... You don't have to be doing something. You could just sit there. I think that's been the hardest part of adjusting to not seeing myself as lazy for just wanting to sit down and think about nothing. I made a, a video called The Feminine Urge to, to Never Think Again. And if I had a single thought for at least 10 days, I'd be good. I'd be really good. I think my brain would reset. And it in and my and my synapses would properly synapse again. Because as it stands, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to think about anything. I just wanna be pretty. 
I just want my skin to glow. Right now my skin is purging because glycolic acid, salicylic acid, it increases your cells turnover rate and it causes not, it, it looks like breakouts but it's actually your skin literally clearing itself from the outside, to, from the inside out. So it's like, oh crap, why am I breaking out? That it's it's the skin is purging and it settles four to six weeks. Um, and supposed at the end you're supposed to like your skin's supposed to be better. So that's what I'm claiming. Um also if anyone has found a way to receive a husband without leaving the house, leave a comment. Because at this rate, I don't know. I know it's a sidebar. Y'all, this whole video is one big this, okay? But I'm saying to myself, I was talking to someone from my church. I was talking to one of the pastors at my church and the other day, the other day being like two months ago. And he was like, Deanna, how's your dating life? And I'm like, what dating life? He's like, <laughs> he's like, your dating life. I'm like, but like, what dating life? He's like, you know, I'm like, I don't have, I don't have, a, pastor, I don't have, I don't have a dating life. He's like, why not? I'm like, well, you gotta get asked out on dates. He's like, why don't you go out? I'm like, where? The bookstore? Men don't be in bookstores no more. Men don't read. There's, they be on, they do the podcast. Where I'm. At the coffee shop? This is not a rom 2007 rom-com. Where am I going to go? ShopRite? The man of my dreams is going to be in ShopRite. Because I don't leave the house, y'all. That's another thing. I don't leave that. I go to the gym. No, I sleep in the house. I go to the gym, church. Don't get me started out because there ain't no men at church. Um, and, 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 and a video. I'm, I am making a video on you got to stop telling women to convince themselves to be attracted to someone they're not, especially in the church, because there technically are men in the church, but they not cute. And and for people to be like, oh, you just gotta like get past that. Get past that? <laughs> are you joking? Get past it. How am I supposed to get past this? And every time he comes in for a kiss, I'm gonna cry. Like, no, please. I can't spend my whole marriage learning how- Are you joke? Y'all are slow in the most disrespectful way possible. Y'all got some screw loose, some screws loose. Y'all are a few fries short of a happy meal. <laughs> Please save that. Keep that bull shirt over there. Um, uh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, but so I will make a video about that. But if y'all know any way to to get, like, if there is is there like an Amazon Prime for met for husbands, and you get one delivered to you in like two days. Not that I want. You know, I'm cool being single. Another topic someone else inspired me to make. Um, when I made the embracing singleness video, someone I forget her name, but she left a very beautiful, insightful comment. And one of the things she said was, you know, we're really not fighting singleness, we're fighting loneliness. And that's a whole video too about, you know, sometimes it's nice to be with someone and have good company around you and feel loved and protected. And I'm at a stage in my life where I'm not really, I don't say I'm not looking for a friend, but what I'm looking for in a person only a husband really could fulfill. Um, what I'm looking for in terms of friendship, because I'm looking for like, oh, I'm, technically I'm not looking, but I desire intimacy and compassion and closeness and hugs and stuff. And that's something at this point in my life, I would, I would, a husband would, you know, would fit that mold. Um, but yeah, so if y'all know anything about Amazon Prime for husbands, just leave a comment and, or drop a link. Because at this rate, like, people be like, just go out. Where? Go out. I'm not going to the club. The club. I'm not going to the club. That's the worst place you can meet. I want to be with a Christian. I, no. That's number one. Then they be like, oh, okay. Go to the park. Oh, so I can get on Dateline television? How I'm looking for a man, this cute man. Next thing you know, I got a burlap sack over me 50 miles across, across town. 
That's what y'all want from me. Okay. Oh, well, you know, you just gotta go to church. I'll go to church. Where the men at? I'm not... Oh, well, he's a Christian. And he's a nice guy. First of all, you're not a Christian. By your fruits, you'll know them. And you're not a nice guy. You're just not showing your full hand immediately. But you're not a nice guy. So, I want to do nothing, be pretty, and good things will come to me. Because that's actually what's been happening to me. Good things are coming. Amen. God's promises are coming to pass. I'm doing nothing. I'm doing nothing. And, um, I expect that good things are going to continue happening to me while I do nothing. I will be more consistent. Hopefully. Um, and I, the really reason why I was a little upset is because... On YouTube your revenue is like a, the stock market um I from what I perceive like some t some days it does really well especially if there's a lot of engagement and you'll notice like wow a lot of money is being made same thing can happen if there's not a lot of engagement you ain't posting a while videos aren't doing well you can lose money and I've been losing money so part of the reason why I was like mm, I gotta make a video cuz I'm losing a little money not that I don't love y'all but how am I supposed to fund my lifestyle of doing nothing if I don't have money the husband isn't here yet he's coming he's a coming but he ain't here yet cuz when he's here I'm not paying for nothing I wish one of y'all 50-50 people, God, re the reason why no men approach me, I have a theory, no men are worthy, because I radiate expensive regalness, like, what do you, what do you have to, imagine you radiate expensive, regal, beautiful, powerful, feminine, just divine vibes, and a man ask you what do you bring to the table i want to take that damn table and slap him across the head and knock his head off till it rolls out to the parking lot what do i the what do i That's enough to make, you know what, let's stop this video here because now I'm upset. I'm supposed to be taking this bath. Oh, I am coming out with my affordably luxurious self-care routine. I'm going to film it this weekend because um, I want to show you guys how I do it at home. You guys saw my pamper routine at the Ritz, but I want to show you how I do it at home with, you know, the stuff I have. Inexpensive, but awesome stuff and yeah, I'm excited for that. Uh, okay, guys. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I meant every word I said. I wasn't exaggerating. I truly meant what I said. I don't want to do anything. Okay. You know what I was thinking? I was like, dang, I really got to edit this video. Even though it's not like too much work. But I do sit through my whole videos and watch them just to make sure things are okay. So I got to edit this video. And I don't want to do anything. I want to take this bath. But I'm doing this for y'all. Okay? Okay. Okay, I love you, Jackie loves you, and we'll see you in the next video.